Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoes is out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show y'all some quick and easy little hairstyles that you could do with your frontal wig. You don't necessarily need full parting space, but if you don't have the full parting space, then you definitely need to make sure all tracks are covered and everything looks good and like seamless, especially if you wanna be out in public, you don't wanna buy clacking, period. So if y'all wanna know how I got this look and see the other two looks that I did with this hair, then keep watching. So first things first, I already plucked this wig, as y'all can see very much prepped and ready to go and I didn't want to over pluck it either so I decided to just give it like a little minimal pluck and I went ahead and bleached it as well so it definitely is very natural and I think I'm going to do more plucking when it's actually on my head compared to doing it when it's just on the cap because I just feel like it's not going to be too hard to pluck and I can save myself some time so being that everything is prepped and ready to go y'all know how I always use the black even spray now I'm going to be using the red one, but I'm going to be trying it just so I can be able to tell y'all like the differences and I also have the yellow one. Don't know when I'm going to use it, but I just decided to use the red one today for whatever reason. So I'm be using this, and this one is the Extreme Firm Hold Fast Drying and Residue or Build Up, and it holds 10 times um, strong for lace. So that's pretty good for me. So let's start this meltdown process. So one of my favorite products I laid on my edges with is the Eben uh, Edge Control with the purple top. And honestly, you know how a lot of edge controls, they don't really hold your edges. They just kind of wave them up or it just don't last that long. This edge control really holds down my edges. So make sure y'all go to the hair store. If you have coarse hair or hair that waves up very easily and you just need a good edge control, boom, there you go. Got it from the hair store. It's a little bit on a, I wouldn't say it's super affordable but it's definitely worth it for sure now i'm gonna take my ruby kisses concealer in the shade 10 sometimes i use 12 depending on how my skin is acting or if i got a 10 if i'm a little, a little bit lighter you know it kind of varies but i apply that underneath the lace and on top to make sure that that wig that lace is tinted tinted we don't need nothing you know we don't need no white cast we don't need it to look funny so i make sure i really saturate that lace with my hair color period well, my skin color, my hair color, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, then I'm going to cut off the excess lace because it was bending my lashes. That is so annoying. Like, is that a pet peeve of mine? Like, only a pet peeve of mine? I hate when it starts bending my lashes. I cannot stand that. So, um, as y'all can see, I'm using the even um, the adhesive spray, the red bottle this time. Y'all know I like the black bottle, but I'm using the red bottle this time. And so far, so good. Like, that wig was hard holding like i'm not sure if i inserted the clip i'm pretty sure i did i'm not sure but i did like a little tuck test and it was given like literally right after before i cut off the lace and everything i was like okay okay i see what's going on i'm still trying to be able to tell the difference between the red one and the black one as well as the yellow one which i did not use yet but you know once i get there i will be sure to update y'all and let y'all know then it doesn't take too long to let the um adhesive spray dry so i only did this just to ensure that you know it was secure and you know just give it a nice little blow dry for probably about a minute or less and it definitely was holding down that's one thing about these even um lace adhesives they hold down period so they was doing the job and we're just doing the basics y'all know how this go
So if you don't know by now, you should always have some sort of cutting technique. You should never cut straight across on any lace frontal. That's the quickest way to be able to detect your frontal wig. You never want to cut straight across. Now to fix my mistakes, I'm going to take that same adhesive spray, spray it on my rat tail comb, and I'm just going to go over any spots that's white or lifting, and it really, really helps. All right, y'all, so I want to try at least three different hairstyles that you can do with this look so first of all y'all know this is one of my favorite hair colors period like this i feel like it's so serious to the point where this would be a color i wear for my wedding like i know i'm <laughs> jumping on a little bit but this is one of my favorite hair colors ever so i just i'm already excited to see what i'm about to do with this all right so first things first i think i'm gonna do and i'm making a tiktok too every time i film and make a tiktok it just be like so much but okay so I'm gonna do a baby hair. Remember, I was telling y'all that I didn't do too much to the wig because first of all, I didn't feel like I needed to, and um, I didn't pluck it too much because I feel like I could pluck it on my head. So I think I'm gonna just do some baby hairs real quick, and then um, I could jump more into like the styling portion. And y'all, I know I was trying to stay away from doing like voiceovers and stuff, but. And sometimes I don't even do voiceovers. I just straight be letting y'all listen to the music while I do my hair. Because that's what's very peaceful for me. But I know y'all want videos to be a little bit more, like, you know, informative. And I don't know, y'all. This is just giving wash me style this week. It's not really giving something you can learn. Because it's not really, like, that serious, you know? I think I'm going to wind up doing that. And speaking, if I need to, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not going to force it or nothing. I'm going to just allow y'all to watch and see what I come up with. Because I don't even know what I'm doing. Y'all know that. A lot of the times, I just kind of be doing stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing until I do it. So, do I want something to be in the middle? Um, and I don't want my babies to be too dense either. I don't know yet, but we're gonna get these baby hairs popping real quick, and then I could get into how many different ways I want to style it. So for the first hairstyle, I really didn't know what I wanted to do, y'all. Y'all know I kind of freestyle a lot of these, and I'm just like, either it's something I've been wanting to do or something I'm just like, all right, boom, this is quick. So this video is for my girls that just want to do something quick, cute, and something simple, not too much, and, you know, just switch it up a little bit. So basically, I'm going to do my baby hairs first. Now, the only thing I didn't do different was I did not cut my sideburn baby hairs because I just wanted them to be long for this video. Give, like, a very, what's that um girl from the car? cartoon name or is she a disney princess i don't know y'all i'm not in tune with disney nowadays but y'all know what i'm talking about this hair color ginger it's giving curly all of that it's very very nice then i'm gonna take that adhesive spray again after i already curled my baby hairs with the little baby flat iron and i'm just gonna carve those baby hairs very cute simple same as always and i'm just gonna lay down and secure those and make sure they are holding tight because not for nothing we are about to do a few hairstyles and you don't want your edges moving around that's very 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 annoying and with the sprays compared to um gel and stuff like that they don't dry the same so once you use a spray any type of holding spray to hold down your baby hairs they not moving they not going nowhere so you want to ensure that your baby hairs is going to stay in place that's what's most important So y'all always see me put my hair up in a bun or try to throw it up, make it look kind of natural and just effortless, you know. And the back of this wig is not lace. It's not a full lace wig. It's not any, it's not a 360. It's a regular frontal wig, like a, th 
I think a 13 by like two or something like that. But y'all know I'm gonna get creative. One thing about it. So as long as y'all don't see the back, and as long as you don't walk outside like that, this looks very cute. It's very doable. It's it's cute. It does what it's supposed to do. Now for this part, I definitely um, skipped ahead because I didn't know if I wanted to wet the little extra pieces or if I wanted to curl it. So I was going back and forth between curling it and actually wetting it with mousse. And I like how it looked when I curled it really really tight compared to how it looked when I just quick wet it like it was cute but it was just like I kind of wanted it to give more so I went with the flat iron method and curled it instead So for this next look, as I mentioned before, we don't have that much part of space on the sides, but guess what? We're gonna find a way, we're gonna make a way, and we're gonna make it look good, right? So at first I was like, okay, maybe I should leave a little bit more out on the sides to give it, you know, some type of something. But I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'ma just throw this whole thing up. Like it's a real full half up, half down. And um, I'm covering the tracks. I believe I pulled some hair from the back into the ponytail so it could give it a very full look. And um, it worked out for me, to be honest. I just used that mousse, slicked it down, did what I needed to do. And as long as the hair covers it and not, no tracks or exposed or anything, girl, you all good. Then I just went ahead and did a little something extra. I took a little extra piece and I wrapped it around the band of the scrunchie just to give it kind of that like neat, seamless look. You really don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I was just being extra. I'm like, you know what? Let me just wrap this around real quick. It's going to give it a nice little cute look or whatever. So for my third and final look, y'all know I love me a good flip over method. That, y'all know a flip over method besides the center part, side part, is one of my favorite hairstyles to do because come on now, it just always looks like bedhead. It just gives very effortless. It gives, it gives what it's supposed to give every time, especially when your hair is on a shorter side. It just gives natural and come on y'all, this looks good. So I was like, let me just throw this to the side, quick little, you know, and it came out great, y'all, I loved it. All right, y'all, so I had to get the perfect light and make sure everything is good. Yeah, I know this is my favorite hair color, so I'm really rocking it down. Like, y'all know I don't play around when it comes to this hair color. Lilo in the back making mad noise, being annoying. Anyways, <laughs> let me know what y'all think of this look. Let me know which look was your favorite look. These are very, very simple, so it's not like it's going to take you long or whatever the case may be. Also, realize with the first hairstyle, this is not a full lace wig. Y'all know I like to throw my hair up in a bun. Just don't show the back. Take a picture from the front. Nobody will know the difference. You just, you know. So, let me know which one is your favorite look. Like if you like this video, comment down below. And let me know your thoughts. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, y'all. Baddest bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me they down. Hold me know down. me now. Don't. I like you don't know me now.